Hello everyone, welcome to Stealth Security. My name is Nikant, also known as Terra, and today we will be looking at bypassing OTP transactions. It's a fun one, uh, and believe me, it's rather an easy one using Burp Suite. So today we will be looking at something called response manipulation. Uh, with that being said and that out of the way, whatever you learn on Stealth Security is only posted for educational purpose. Please do not target any network that you do not have explicit permissions for. Uh, and with that also out of the way, let's dive right in. So today we're looking at bypassing OTP. Uh, it is a fun one. It is a rather easy one, as I said. And uh, we're actually looking forward to this side of the ball game. So as you can see, there's this page called Insta Financials. You have the login page and start for free. So let's just start for free and sign up. Uh, you need to fill in your details, so you have your full name, you can put in anything. I'm just going to put in Terra, along with my email ID. Uh, you can also put a fake email ID, it's absolutely alright. I'm just putting it because I just have multiple of them. Uh, country India, you just put in your details, you have your captcha. So you might just want to take care of it. And here we go, just select some of the bicycle boxes. And then there's another one with the traffic signals. Just some basic things security as they call it uh but yeah now we go and i've already opened burp suite you turn the intercept on as you can see my history is blank and let's get on to the intercept side of the ball game turn on foxy proxy for those of you who do not know about foxy proxy uh we will be uploading another video explaining how to set up foxy proxy on mozilla firefox so let's just arrange a bit apologies and we click on get email OTP. So as you can see, it says sign up dot ASPX save sign up details. And yeah, this will be better so you can see that like, you know, side by side. And it sends my information to the server. So Terra, India, Maharashtra and my email ID. So you can see save sign up details. This is the first page with respect to the request uh, and the response that we've received. And ideally, throughout this exercise, we will be looking at post method. So keep that in mind. Post method is something that we should be looking at. Uh, get is not that heavier side of the ball game at this point. Now we'll just right click, do intercept, and response to this request. Once we do that, just simply forward it. And as you can see, we received something called a response, which is down bottom right there. So we'll just forward the other two for now. Just see, get done with it. Yes, and now we have our response. So as you can see, it says verification expired for the capture. And that's okay, don't worry about it. It says D colon new user, right? Well, that's a little something. Your response 200 is okay. If you are new to cybersecurity, uh, you need to know your your response codes, 200 is okay, 300, 400, 500, please look into it. You forward it and there you go. OTP sent to your email successfully. Now that we've done that, I simply forwarded the request after receiving it. And then you have that response. Okay, so far so good. You can get some other information from Google and widgets and sometimes Google Analytics as well. You can always let that slide. Now, as you can see, the OTP that we've received here, just for this purpose, is 6952. But we won't be using it. Assuming the fact that we're trying to be hackers here, so we don't need to know the email ID on which the OTP has been sent. We'll change it a bit. You know, we could just change it to something else, any other OTP. So now that you know the OTP, and shh, that's already been expired, nothing to worry on that front. But we'll just change the ODB to something else. Now we send in a request. Mm, let me have a look. Oh, this is a Google Analytics request. My bad. So that does happen. Now you see 6352. We've changed it a bit. It was 6952 there. Uh, and ironically, the only reason I chose 6352 is because if you see the num lock, it's just parallel. 6, 3, and then 5 and 2. Somehow the OTP I got luckily was similar. So once you send it, Oh, I made a little error while talking about it, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. There's always room to fix it. And there you go. You simply click on verify email. 
And as you can see, the OTP that I've sent along with my email ID is received to the server. Now 6352, see verify email OTP. That is what we're looking at from the post request. But 6352 is what I have sent and that is not the correct OTP. 6952 was the correct one. And uh, as you can see, I uh, should have chosen a better number, but it's just fate. It's crazy how it just panned out to be something rather close. However, with that being said and that out of the way, you have 6352, I post it in and again the same thing, you right click, do intercept and response to this request and you forward it. All right, and the moment you do go on, go on, we need to focus on the response and post. Yep. And as you can see, the response to this particular request, side by side, you can see 200 OK, we can see some more information about control allow headers, so on and so forth, what kind of methods are allowed, and you can see D with 2. Now, this is where response manipulation comes into play. So, I'll just quickly use the mouse pad and explain some things when it comes to response manipulation. What do we exactly mean by that? On a holistic level, just to give you an overview of what we're talking about, what we mean by the response manipulation. So if you get a response which says failure, uh, you know, failure is written, you can simply change it from the response page to success and then you forward it and there's a good chance the server might just accept it. If it says two, you can change it to one because two may mean not okay and one may mean okay. And sometimes one may mean not okay. And that's when you can type zero because zero might mean Okay, so it's all about binary, it's about yes and no, twos and ones, by two would mean not allowed, one would mean allow, just in this case, as you can see. So that's response manipulation for you, just on a holistic level. Now see what happens if we change the D to one. Oh my God, I just typed 12, yeah. So that's D to one, and that's it. And if we plan on forwarding it after changing, making this little change, so we manipulate the response which has come from the server and then we forward it. You see, your email is verified successfully, even when I sent in the wrong OTP, as a matter of fact. So that's, that's how you work on response manipulation. There is a furthermore part of it where you can use your mobile and do the OTP and it's the same process. So at Stealth Security, we want you to try this out and let us know in the comments what you think. And if you have any problems, please let us know.